Hello Color Blast fans and welcome to the Color Blast YouTube channel. Melinda here with you today sharing my latest creation and I'm using the awesomely brilliant, fantastically shimmery mica powders. They are so, so pretty. So as you can see, I've started with this pattern paper and I'm just giving it a quick coat of clear gesso because I knew I was going to apply a probably a lot of water because I wanted to do some water colouring with the mica powders. <clears throat> so I'm just applying that with an old gift card and I'm going to dry that with my heat gun I think and then get on with the fun stuff. So I'm just using some papers from my stash from Echo Park and I've pulled out, so that is another paper from the same collection that I'm using and it's got all of the colours in the collection and I was going for something really bright and fun and colourful. This is going into our Project Life album and it's basically a title page for a project that I work on in September. It's called Learn Something New Every Day and I really just wanted a break in my normal Project Life pages into this project because it is a bit different. So as you can see, that clear gesso was dried. I went in and to start with, I applied water to a bunch of the flowers, or to each flower before I applied the mica powder with my watercolour paintbrush. You'll see as the process goes on that I changed that up because the colours aren't as vibrant as I wanted them to be. So obviously the more water you add, the less vibrant and bright the colours are. So I do that for at least all of these watermelon colours. I will list all of the colours I've used in the pro in the box below. So <clears throat> if you want to know exactly the colours, they're also all um, all mentioned in the blog post. I did use all of them though, except for the espresso. I think the brown's called. So this one is the watermelon, and I'm just adding colour till I'm happy with the way that it looks. When I first started doing this page, I was quite particular in that I dried each colour before I went on to the next colour. <clears throat> and you can see here I'm just soaking up the excess water because, as I said, there was a lot of water, especially with me doing that coat of water with the paintbrush before I added any colour. It's really hard to see in both the photos and the video, but these these mica powders are so pretty and so shimmery. I love them. Once I've done the watermelon, I come in with the two different greens, which are olive green and cool mint, because I really like the two different um, the two different variations of the green and what it, what it brings to the end product, just a little bit of variation. Um, so I went in with the olive green first and just did a bunch of leaves and then I went in, rather than getting, you know, olive green mica powder in there, cool mint mica powder, I did one colour at a time. There's not a great deal I can say here, but what um, I somehow managed to lose some of my footage. I think I ran out of battery on my phone while I was recording because I hadn't emptied it off for a little while. But before I was finished, I decided that I needed some other colours as well. So I pulled out some of my colour sprays, um, some of just the plain colour and some of the shimmer sprays. And I've mixed up some different concoctions and because I don't have the video process, I'm not sure exactly what colours I mixed together to get what colours. But you'll see in the end design that almost the whole page is done. I did intentionally leave some white flowers. I've added some bits and pieces from my stash and as I said, this was going into our Project Life album. I've cut some letters on my cameo and added a few embellishments from my stash, but I really wanted the mica powder to do all the work and bring colour and shimmer and sparkle to this title page. So I'm going to pop some music on and let you enjoy the process. It's, yeah, it's not rocket science. It's watercolouring. It's fun. It's easy. I really recommend you give it a go. These mica powders just make it so, so, so fun, so easy and so shimmery. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. 
and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you get some inspiration to try using your products in a different way or in the same way that you always love. Um, have a fantastic, fun-filled, scrappy, messy day, and I will see you next time. Thank you.